Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the Valley View Casino Center as we get set for the official weigh-ins for tomorrow night as Spike presents a very special Saturday night edition of Bellator MMA. We'll have your fighters here on the schedule, or on the stage rather, in just a couple of moments. A couple of official particulars for tomorrow night here in San Diego. Doors will open at 3 o'clock. First fights inside the Bellator cage, 345 local time. That's 645 Eastern time for those joining us on the live stream. And then, of course, all the prelims as they are every week seen live on Spike.com. And then the main broadcast, the season finale, the 2014 finale, 9 p.m. Eastern time, 8 o'clock Central. We go live with Bellator MMA live and free on Spike. Ticket information, tickets still available if you're in the area. The box office here at the Valley View Casino Center, or you can go to axis.com. That's AXS.com or Bellator.com for direct information. Tonight's weigh-ins, tomorrow night's action, all sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission. Commissioner John Frierson, Chair, Executive Officer, Mr. Andy Foster. Again, welcoming you to the official weigh-ins. I'm Bellator Cage announcer Michael Williams, joining us on stage and cage side. The night of the fights, as always, the lovely ladies from Bellator MMA, Mercedes and Jade. Joining us here momentarily on stage, Bellator President, Mr. Scott Coker. And now, to bring the fighters to the scale, one half of the broadcast team calling the action live on Spike TV. Would you please put your hands together and welcome Mr. Jimmy Smith. Thank you so much. We're going to get started with our preliminary fights. Of course, check them out on Spike.com. We start out in the bantamweight division, 135 pounds. Rolando Perez versus Mike Vorges, first to the scale, fighting out of Chula Vista, California. Please welcome Rolando Perez. Record of 7-4-1 and one as a pro, one knockout, three submissions in those seven wins. One thirty five and a half for Rolando Perez. Please welcome his opponent fighting out of Oceanside, California, Mark Vorges. Record of five and two as a pro, four wins by submission. One thirty seven has one more to go. Has two hours to cut that last pound. They'll be kicking off our show at one hundred and thirty five pounds. Give it up for him, Rolando Perez versus Mark Vorges, ladies and gentlemen. Hands up. Let's get out, boys. All right, guys. Thank you. Good luck to both of you. And on to the featherweight division, 145 pounds, Jordan Bailey versus Alex Higley. First to scale fighting out of San Diego, California. Please welcome Jordan Bailey. Record of three and one as a pro, two wins by submission, one by knockout. Forty-five and a half for Jordan Bailey. And please welcome his opponent out of Encinitas, California, Alex Higley. Record of two and one as a pro, both of those wins by knockout.
Bravo. Five and a half for Alex Higley. Nice meeting again, buddy. Guys, come on in. Be respectful, guys. Hands Let's up. give it up for the featherweights Jordan Bailey versus Alex Higley, ladies okay, and gentlemen. Face the cameras. Let's go. Face the cameras. Hands up, boys. Look to that. <laughs> All right, guys. Good job. Good luck, boys. Moving on to the flyweight division, 125 pounds, Matt Ramirez versus Nick Garcia. First to scale, fighting out of Santa Clara, California. Please welcome Matt Ramirez. A record of 1-0, that one win by submission. for Matt Ramirez. Please welcome his opponent fighting out of Carlsbad, California, Nick Garcia. A record of seven and three as a pro, two knockouts, four submissions. for Nick Garcia. Let's get up for the flyweights. Matt Ramirez versus Nick Garcia, ladies and right, gentlemen. Thanks for cameras, guys. All right, boys. Good job. Good luck. Moving up the scale to the middleweights, 185 pounds, Andy Murad versus Bubba Pugh. First to the scale, fighting out of San Diego, California. Please welcome Andy Murad. Record of eight and two as a pro, three wins by knockout, one by submission. And the best fairy costume I've ever seen on an MMA stage. I'm saying that right now. One eighty-five and a half for Andy Murad.
please welcome his opponent fighting out of Oceanside, California, Bubba Q. Record of three and two as a pro, one win by knockout, two by submission. for Bubba Q. The middleweight's 185 pounds. Give it up for him, Andy Murad versus Bubba Q. All right, guys, face the camera. Same thing, hands up, face the camera, boys. All right, guys, good luck to both of you tomorrow night. Moving down the scale to the flyweights, 125 pounds. Ron Henderson versus John Santa Maria. First to the scale, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Please welcome Ron Henderson. Undefeated as a pro at 3-0, one win by submission. Twenty-five and a half for Ron Henderson. And please welcome his opponent fighting out of Santa Fe Springs, California, John Santa Maria. Also undefeated, a record of two and oh, one win by knockout. One twenty five even for John Santa Maria. Let's give it up for two undefeated flyweights, Ron Henderson versus John Santa Maria. All right, guys, face the camera. Face the camera, guys, hands up. All right, good luck to both you guys. Moving up the scale to the middleweight division, 185 pounds. AJ Matthews versus Kyle Bolt. First to the scale, fighting out of Carlsbad, California. Please welcome AJ Matthews. Record of six and three as a pro, four wins by knockout. One eighty-six and a half has a half pound to go. We're gonna try the tarp. Yeah. You have heavy underwear. Apparently, the Jedi trick did not work on the scale. Still has point four to go. Two hours to make it. Please welcome his opponent fighting out of San Diego, California, Kyle Bolt. Record of eight and three as a pro, three knockouts, five submissions. One eighty six on the dock for Kyle Bolts. Put our hands up. 
seconds to close out. Let's give it up for the middleweights, AJ Matthews versus Kyle Bolt, ladies and gentlemen. All right, guys, face the cameras, hands up. All right, guys, good luck. Good luck, Juana. And our last preliminary fight, 155 pounds, Ian Butler versus Juan Feria. Please welcome to the scale first, fighting out of San Diego, California, Ian Butler. One fifty six on the dot for Ian Butler. And please welcome his opponent fighting out of San Diego, California, Juan Feria. One fifty five on the dot for Juan Feria. Hands up. Still short. Let's give it up for our final preliminary fight Ian Butler versus right, Juan Here's Feria. Here's the cameras, guys. All right, guys. Good luck. Good luck to both of you guys tomorrow. Now on to the televised portion of our show. Of course, check us out on Spike TV. We start out in the light heavyweight division, 205 pounds, Joe Vitapo versus King Mo. First of the scale, fighting out of Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Please welcome Joe, the Dr. Vitapo. A record of 17 and eight as a pro, seven knockouts, seven submissions. He stands six foot. Five on the dot for Joe Vitapo. Joe, this fight against King Mo was offered to a lot of guys. You stepped up and took it with confidence. Tell me why. To get to where I'm going, I gotta go through guys like him. And please welcome his opponent fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, King Mo. Professional record of 13 and 4, 10 wins by knockout. Four and a half for King Mo. Mo, every time I talk to you, you talk about getting the belt to match the chain. You know, to do that, you have to put on shows, you have to win impressively. What does that mean for the fans and for Joe Vitapo tomorrow night? It's good for the fans, it's gonna be bad for Joe. Straight up. 
They'll be kicking off our show at 205 pounds. Let's give it up for him. Joe, the Dr. Vitapo versus King Mo. All right, guys, face the cameras, guys. Face the cameras. Face the cameras, guys. Come on, let's go. Hands up. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hands up, boys. Come on now. Keep it professional. Keep it professional. All right. All right. Good luck, guys. Good luck, Joe. Good luck. Next up, a catchweight fight, 143 pounds. Nam Phan versus Mike Richmond. First to the scale, fighting out of Garden Grove, California. Please welcome Nam Phan. Very experienced, a record of 20 and 13 as a pro. Eight wins by knockout, six by submission. One forty three on the dot for Nam Fan. Nam, your first fight in Bellator against Mike Richmond, a very hard hitter, very powerful striker, but you said he can't handle my work rate. Is that the key tomorrow night? Yeah, man. Uh, me and Mike are still a show. Don't miss it, guys. And please welcome his opponent fighting out of Rosemont, Minnesota. Please welcome Mike, the Marine, Richmond. Record of 17 and 5 as a pro. Eight knockouts, seven submissions in those 17 wins. for Mike the Marine Richmond. Mike, if you know MMA, you know Nafan, you know the way he fights, he comes right at you. Is that the kind of fight you want? Yeah, exactly. We're gonna go in there, we're gonna, we're gonna make some fireworks. We'll see what his work rate looks like when he feels my power on him. Let's give it up for him. Catch weight 143 pounds. It's going to be an all action fight. Nam Phan versus Mike Richmond, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, guys, face the camera. Heads up. All right, guys, good job. Good luck tomorrow. Good luck. Moving up to the middleweight division, 185 pounds, Joe Schilling versus Melvin Manoff. First in the scale, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Please welcome Joe Schilling. Six on the dot for Joe Schilling. Joe, everybody has talked about your kickboxing credentials, Melvin Manoff's kickboxing credentials, but you said this is an MMA fight. That's what I'm ready for. Is that what the fans are going to see tomorrow night? Absolutely. I trained for a mixed martial arts fight on one of the biggest shows in the world, and that's what you're going to see tomorrow night. Please welcome his opponent. Fighting out of the Amsterdam, Netherlands, please welcome Melvin Manoff.
185 and a half for Melvin Manoff. Melvin, you told us, I don't care what his kickboxing credentials are, no one hits like I hit. Is that the difference tomorrow night? Yes, this is the difference. You heard it, let's get them together, guys. I'm not the guy he wants to look at. Let's give it up for him. Joe Schilling versus Melvin Manoff, ladies and gentlemen. All right, guys, face the camera, face the camera, guys. Keep it professional here. All right, guys, good luck tomorrow. Good luck tomorrow. Scary standing next to that dude. Our next fight is for the lightweight world championship, 155 pounds. Iron Michael Chandler versus Ill Will Brooks, first in the scale, fighting out of San Diego, California. Please welcome Iron Michael Chandler. The former lightweight world champion with a record of 12 and two, five knockouts, five submissions in those 12 wins. He stands five foot eight. One fifty four and a half for Iron Michael Chandler. Michael, you said the last time Will Brooks fought me, I wasn't at my best. I'm better now than I have ever been. What does that mean for the fans and for Will Brooks tomorrow night? I sure am the best I've ever been. San Diego, get ready for a big show tomorrow night. San Diego, let's do this thing. And please welcome his opponent fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, the interim lightweight world champion, Ill Will Brooks. An outstanding record, 14 and one as a professional, four knockouts, four submissions in those 14 wins. One fifty-four and a half for Ill Will Brooks. Will, it was a very close fight last time. You said that bothers you. You want an emphatic finish. You want a dramatic performance in front of his hometown crowd. Tell me how you're going to do that. Listen, man, I'm not even going to comment on this fight, man. I come from a family of sacrifices and suffering, and I've worked my ass off to get to where I'm at today, and nobody's going to take it. I've sacrificed too much. I've put the time in. I've survived too much, and Chandler ain't got what it takes to take it from me. For the lightweight world championship, 155 pounds, Iron Michael Chandler versus Ill Will Brooks. And for our main event of the evening tomorrow night, Stefan, the American Psycho Bonner versus the People's Champion Tito Ortiz, a fight rooted in emotion. Let's take a look at how it all got started. I can't wait to be in the cage with Tito. I can't wait to be covered in blood so I can laugh at him, spit in his face, and kick his ass. Poor Jenna. I don't know how she put up with you all those years. You can talk all the smack you want. When you talk about my family, and you talk about my fans, this shit gets personal. This guy's a moron. When I grab a hold of him, he's literally gonna shit himself. He's gonna wish he never took the fight. I'm here for a long time! that dude, man. I tagged Tito a few times and he starts to crumble. Everyone knows he's a coward. People don't understand how much I hate this guy. I'm gonna hurt him. 
Stretcher better be close. Let's bring him on to the stage first. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Please welcome the American psycho, Stefan Bonner. Record of 15 and eight as a pro, three wins by knockout, seven by submission. He stands six foot four. the American psycho, Stefan Bonner. <laughs> Stefan, this is what you asked for when you signed with Bellator. This is what you wanted. What are the fans in store for tomorrow night? Well, I talked an awful lot of smack. Now, now it's time to back it up. And I'm going to show my gratitude for you guys tuning into this fight. I'm going to put on a show, I promise. Now, before we bring out Tito Ortiz, we'd like to bring up three of his supporters for some recognition. Three United States Marines from Camp Pendleton, California. Please welcome Sergeant Scott Potter. Next up, please welcome Sergeant David Newbert. And finally, Sergeant Jonathan King. Let's give these guys a big round of applause for their service. Now let's bring up the man they came to support, fighting out of Huntington Beach, California. Please welcome the people's champion, Tito Ortiz. Ortiz. Reckon and one as a pro, eight knockouts, four submissions. People's champion, Tito Ortiz. You're a guy who knows all about getting inside your opponent's head, all about the mind games, but you said Stefan Bonner has crossed the line with his talk before this fight. How does he pay tomorrow night? Yeah, that's what everybody will tune into. I'm ready for war. I'm ready to put it on a show for everybody. I'm in shape. You better be in shape, Bonner. It's gonna be a fight. Here, Our main event of the evening at 205 the pounds, the American the psycho, Stefan Bonner. Is the people's champion no Tito Ortiz? Give it up Keep for it him. Keep it professional, guys. Keep it professional. All right, guys, that's it. That's it. That's it. Face the camera. Face that way, guys. All right, guys. Good job. Good luck. Good luck tomorrow. Good luck tomorrow. Good luck tomorrow, guys.
He didn't make it. Thank you so much, San Diego. We'll see you at the fights tomorrow night. Valleyview.com for more information or the box office right here at the Valley View Casino uh, Center. Uh, you can get them here. Again, information online. Thank you for joining us in the live stream. And for everyone, a special Saturday night edition. We'll see you tomorrow night for Bellator MMA Live on Spike.